All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. Uh, I got a really cool video, and I'm going to think you're going to find it quite interesting because I'm going to give you my thoughts about Kamala Harris and the big mistake she just made. But before we talk about the stink in the world, I want to show you guys something. This is a 30 round box of ammo from the guys over there at Callaway Ballistics. Uh, they're sponsoring my channel and uh, sending ammo out for me to use in the three gun event. We're going to be using their 77 grain, Boat Tail Hollow Point, uh, and I think they're using Nosler in their rounds. Uh, as well as the 55 grain, and then they're going to punch over and send me out a bunch of 124 grain for use in this competition, which believe me, I've been kind of slack putting videos out, not making the money on YouTube we should be doing, <laughs> uh, which means I'm going to put out some of my own money. Oh, poor old me. Uh, also, the uh, the new division that I'm shooting in is called Carry Optics, which I'm really excited about it because we do, and I showed you the pistol yesterday. I'm going to use the SIG Legion X5 with the loop hold. Um, oh, my God. Here we go again. I can't even damn it. It's just a really nice loophole. Damn it. <laughs> uh, whatever. There's Benelli M2 three gun edition right behind me with a J. Kenny lifter. That I've never had a problem out of it. The cool thing in this division, you go ahead and load that bad boy up to full capacity. And uh, I'm just going to shoot these guys right here. These are just regular size magazines for that Legion X5. All right. So what are we talking about today? Well, it's a, it's a, it's a shit storm out there, ladies and gentlemen. We had a shooting yesterday at that bank where the guy went ahead and or guy, girl, I don't know what it was. I really don't pay attention to him because it really much makes me sick. But you know who does pay attention to him is the left. Because every time something happens, ladies and gentlemen, they throw the gun control thing up. And, you know, we need more of this. We need more of this. We need more of this. When more of that was not going to help or do anything because the laws literally uh, are out there and a criminal doesn't follow the law. You and I follow the law. I doubt that I'm ever going to ever, ever, ever do something. But if a left individual or person who is anti-gun, they look at you as an individual who is a potential criminal. If you have a gun. Oh, but something's going to happen. That damn thing's just going to go off. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, no. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about Kamala Harris. As she went down to Tennessee uh, looking for a soul to steal. So let's talk about this. Uh, this is a story uh, in 1945. It's pretty cool. I saw it on MSNBC, I guess, or MSN, whatever the hell they call that thing. Story by Peter Susiu. Okay. I don't know how to, you recognize his name. Great article, though, and I'm going to read it to you. All right, now. All right, so Kamala Harris blasted for not meeting Nashville survivors. That's pretty much what it is. The New York Post was among the news outlets that called out VP Harris after she made a surprise visit to Nashville, Tennessee, to meet the two brave individuals that were removed from Congress in Tennessee for bringing the, the uh, what do you call that, the peaceful protest into the House floor with their bullhorns and everything else. Well, here's the thing, guys. I don't know these people are not accustomed to this, right? But if you do something wrong, there's, there's a, 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 you're going to pay for, pay for it, right? So, <laughs> and I can't keep the damn words. Okay, so here we go. Uh, and oddly enough, she failed to meet with the survivors of the families of the mass shooting victims that resulted in the political drama. The lawmakers expulsion came after three legislators joined a gun control rally outside the state capitol that moved into the House chamber and disrupted proceedings. The protest wasn't a January 6th at the Capitol, but then again, no lawmakers joined the mob that day. The Big Apple paper noted and added, it is certainly an outrageous bid to intimidate legislators uh, into doing the protesters' will, a gross violation of democratic norms that no lawmakers should join, let alone lead. So you got people out there trying to do business on the floor and these jackasses because they feel empowered. They feel like they can do anything without any retribution or anything else happening to them. There's nothing to pay. So they're going to go in there and they're going to chant up their rat up and, you know, with their peaceful protest that they normally have the peaceful protest. Remember when all the buildings were burning down? Mostly peaceful protests, right? Uh, it's like that a little swimmer girl, Gaines, when she got held up there, and I can't remember what it was. It was the uh, University of San Francisco or something, and they basically kept her in a room. They wouldn't allow her to leave because it was mostly peaceful protests. You know what? Did you just need a throat punch is what needs to happen? Sorry. Of course, some Democrats see difficulties in an attempt to push the gun control agenda forward and following a mass shooting to two expelled lawmakers along with the third who also joined the protest but beat the expulsion by a single vote were invited to the White House. Those jackasses were invited. I guess they... What the hell's going on here? Oh, I'll show you what's going on here. Ammo 
cases. <laughs> All right, so I guess these assholes are really so brave. They did such a great thing that I over it, it oversights the uh, the guys that went into that school to face that killer. They set the example on how things were supposed to roll. They picked up the gun and they went in and they did their duty as they should have. And they kicked ass and they took names and kudos to you guys. That led to an outrage as White House has seen to essentially ignore the family's victims as well as the two hero police officers who stopped the massacre by being far worse than the charge into the building and took down a shooter, Audrey Hale, which by the way was a woman trying to act like a guy. Shooting a damn Caltech 2000, which we all know is not an assault weapon, right? Kamala Harris met outside the ousted stunt lawmakers Justin Jones, Justin Pearson, and Gloria Johnson at the Chapel of Fisk, a historically black college. Because, you know, and I don't want to get into the thing, but they, they forced me to. Kamala Harris is a woman of color. Yes, she has really seen the, the horrors in the world. We are here because they're colleagues. And we are here because and their colleagues in the Democratic caucus chose to show courage in the face of extreme tragedy. Adding, they chose to lead and show courage and say uh, that a democracy allows for places where people's voices will be heard. But you don't do what that well, those guys did. Assault weapons are weapons of war. This lady doesn't know what an assault weapon is, and I love the fact that she's saying this when probably surrounded with oh, a bunch of little Secret Service guys. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, these are weapons that are designed to kill as many people as quickly as possible. They have no place on the streets of a civil, civil society. Well, come and get them, darling, if you want. And I saw the thing on... Uh, the IV 8088 talking about uh, doing the poll with uh, the number of people who think that our law enforcement would shoot on our own people. I still think that there's there's strength in the numbers. There might be certain assholes that'll do it, but you know what's going to happen? They're going to piss off their fellow officers or their fellow service members, and then they're going to take them out. Biden also used the recent tragedy in which six individuals, including three children, were killed by hell. A former student of the covenant, which, by the way, has it yet to be declared to be a, a hate crime? I mean, I'm just asking for a friend, you know. Uh, <laughs> there were shooting took place to push his gun control agenda. Hail a female at birth who identified as a male and used the pronouns blah, blah, was being treated for an unspecified emotional disorder and should not have been able to obtain those firearms. All right. So we went over a lot of information here. It's from rant, video, the rant that I have. Uh, ran a little long. I want you to tell me what you have involved. Uh, I'm really excited. Uh, I've got uh, heading up to North next week. We're going to be doing some shooting. Yes. Got to verify some stuff, and uh, that should be it. With that being said, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. We always end them like this. God bless America. God bless those men and women in uniform 24 7 for our freedoms. Freedom is not free. Go shooting today. Get your stuff ready. These jackasses, they have no clue. They do not care about you. Y'all be good. I'm out of here. Boom.